Hello, everyone. Um, really great to be here. So what I'm here to present is uh, two projects that I've been involved in. So uh, I'm building, uh, with an amazing team, a project called Identity Manager. So we are trying to solve uh, decentralized identity uh, by using open standards uh, that already exist. So um, in this short kind of um, cards, show, slow, show slide or something like that, we have the most important features that we want to have. So uh, your identity under your control. So it's your, in your control in the sense that you edit your personal data in a single place safely and it gets propagated everywhere. Uh, it's privacy first, so you disclose only uh, what you want and uh, you can even, even go fully anonymously whenever you interact with a, with a website. Um, also, we want to provide decentralized single sign-on for any website uh, or decentralized application, stuff like that. And also, we are embracing decentralized identifiers, which is a specification uh, being um, made by a community to have single um, DIDs uh, that are based on public ledgers, uh, Ethereum blockchain, Ethereum uh, Bitcoin, and many others. Uh, IPID is one of uh, those DID methods that uses IPFS, for instance. Um, verifiable credentials, which are basically statements that I can say to others. Um, and th those are really nice because I can say uh, anything about anyone. Even the government can say things about me, like they can say m that I'm not lo no longer underage, and can they can say like, okay, I'm 18, um, and I can then prove that, um, take that credential and prove that I can buy alcohol to someone trying to sell alcohol for me. Uh, uh, so we have also signed operations um, and data for any, any website that wants to sign anything, basically. So to actually uh, demonstrate this, we have like this cool website here and we have like a video. I will go quickly go through the, uh, to the features that we already have. So let me put full screen. And because the video is like six minutes, I will speed it up. So uh, maybe one and a half, I guess. So what I'm seeing is like uh, a lock screen uh, set, setting up. So I'm putting my passphrase. We want to set up uh, other lock types, but for now it's just a passphrase. You choose the idling time, and then we, ha we have the add identity feature. In this case, I'm gonna create a new identity. Uh, and basically, we just support IPID for now, but you want to support many other DID methods. So you choose person, and then you can put your photo there, uh, and then you can choose your name, Andres Souza. let's continue, and then you choose your device. So the device here is very important because you can have multiple devices associated to your identity, just, just like the real world, right? So in t at this moment, is creating uh, an APNS record uh, that maps to a CID that maps to my DID document. Um, and because IPNS, uh, the way IPD works is that you have to have a key that updates the, the PNS record. We need to safely back it up in order to be able to uh, import other devices, um, import your identity in other devices. And also, you must erase this key from this device to be kept safe, right? So that's the backup process. Now you, ha you are seeing the, the profile. Uh, you can change uh, more fields uh, within the profile. Nationality, gender, location, stuff like that. And you save it. And if, yeah, and, and the, the information appears there. There's also the devices, just one at the moment. And you can also add proofs uh, for, of your social uh, networks. Uh, and also you, you saw applications there, uh, but at the moment we just going to the import identity. So uh, you, you, we take the mnemonic and you paste it there and you can import your identity in other devices. In this case, let's go, restore, take some time. Yes, so a new device was, was actually added now, which has this, like, this name, Andres Laptop. So we now have two devices associated to my identity, right? So we now should be able to see those two devices there. And now let's demonstrate how I can use these to authenticate to an application. So we made like a very uh, rough uh, shut up uh, for us to demonstrate. So we already authenticated with Nomius. Um, and now we can you know, use our identity to, to, to uh, be situated with the messages there. But those messages are not being signed yet, okay? Uh, so uh, it's very quick, I think. So yeah, I'll put more, more faster, I guess. Back speed, two. 
right. So uh, the messages are now being signed, and those check marks means, meaning, means that the messages are being signed with your session key. Uh, and now if we type IPFS, it will ask you to sign with your device key. And because the device key is encrypted within your storage, you need to actually put a passphrase, and you authorize, and you sign with IPFS. And it's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you.